Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and uh, I've been doing some testing today. Just recorded a bunch of it. I'll be looping over the video um, here as I talk, but uh, I'm finally ready to do my full review on this bad boy. Uh, this is the Holtzbrook Tarnaby Hatchet, and uh, I picked this up from River's Edge Cutlery. It's been a little while now. I've been meaning to do this full review for quite some time, but I was dealing with a minor foot injury, and then uh, it's been raining a lot and stuff, but um, I've been using this quite a bit. I used it first in the testing slash first impressions video that I did not far from where I'm kneeling right now. Um, and then I've also been using it to split some firewood at home, brought it to my brother-in-law's house, split some firewood over there, and uh, just kind of been using it for those types of tasks around the house because that's all that I <laughs> have to do with the hatchet at home. Um, but yeah, I got it out here today and uh, just been hacking away at some logs and sticks and just kind of putting it through a few more paces so that I really feel super acquainted with this thing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna chop up a couple more things and then we're gonna go ahead and sit down somewhere where I can talk about it and hold it up to the camera where you can see it a little better. So let's chop some more stuff. All right, so this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> I, uh, I thoroughly enjoy having a hatchet or an ax or a tomahawk outdoors. Um, there's something very stress relieving <laughs> about just chopping some stuff up. Um, this canyon isn't really like the greatest place, I guess in this spot specifically, to, to have a bunch of stuff to chop at. A lot of the stuff that's down here is pretty dry rotted out and just like, there's not a lot of ammunition out here to, to chop at. Um, but I, like I said, I have been using this uh, at home and at my brother-in-law's a little bit to split some firewood. It's done great for that. And uh, yeah, a lot of the time I'll have this in my pack lately. And if I come to a spot where the trail is overgrown and there's like a limb that's come down over the trail or something, um, having this in my pack compared to just having like my BGM Pike fixed blade that lives on my pack or whatever fixed blade I've got on me, I mean, you just can't beat the leverage, obviously. I don't need to explain the dynamics of how an ax or a hatchet works to you, but um, this thing has just been a lot of fun. So let's kind of break down uh, what this comes with, uh, how it feels, and uh, it doesn't need to be overly complex, I don't think, but let's kind of wrap it in a bow. So first and foremost, it comes with this mask. Um, I believe that's what you call <laughs> this leather sheath thing that goes on a, a hatchet and uh, it's really nice. I haven't put this on my belt if I'm being totally honest, although you can. It's got this spot right here. Um, what I've done is I've honestly just tossed it in my pack or in the trunk of my car every time that I've taken it somewhere. But uh, it's got this really nice leather kind of pull string. So when I've got it in my pack, I actually tie this just in a really simple loop around the top. But when I've got it out, it's real easy. You just pull some kind of slack onto that and uh, that allows you to kind of unhook it, pull it forward and boom. I think the finishing on this hatchet is really kind of special <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, the way they stamp it at Holtzbrook looks really cool. The way they put this convex edge on looks fantastic. It's like rustic but then you get the kind of polished edge which is actually holding up really well. And uh, yeah this thing I, I like this size a lot. The weight of this head is fantastic. I believe this is a one pound head, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I think it's a 15 inch handle, if I remember correctly. So uh, this is very easy to tuck in my pack. It doesn't weigh a ton. I mean, obviously it's a lot heavier than like a knife most of the time, unless you're talking about a really crazy fixed blade or something. But um, to have this in my pack is really pretty, uh, negligible <laughs> um especially just on a day hike or something if i was going on a, like a long backpacking trip i don't know that i'd want to have this i might pick instead to just have like a folding saw that weighs a lot less um but yeah this it, it's dimensionally fantastic to just toss in my pack literally uh, there's in my pack there's a divider thing for if you're using like a water bladder like a camelback type of insert and I don't do that. I just bring uh, like an insulated bottle every time I hike. So I'll just put this in head down into that spot and it fits nice and slim. And 
it's just it disappears in there for being a, a decent sized day pack. And then if I need it, it's super easy to get to. Just open the top of my pack, reach in, it's right there. And it's kind of got its own compartment and I've liked that a lot. And so, yeah, it's just really nice. Like when I come to those moments where there actually is something that I, I, uh, I don't need to like clear the trails out here, but I'm one of the few people who hike out here and I like to keep the trails somewhat maintained well, not overly maintained because I also like the place to feel really wild. But if there's a limb that's specifically come over like the trail, then yeah, you clear that limb. And uh, it's just, it's so much easier to do it with something like this than to hack at it with a knife for a long time or try to baton through it or like this, you can just actually chop. And uh, I find with the weight of this, it feels pretty fluid to chop with. It's not cumbersome at all. It's very like usable in one hand. I'm never feeling like I need to get two hands on it. It's just a nice size and dimension for me to go ahead and, and swing kind of with confidence. Um, on top of that, the shaping of this handle, let's see if I can get it to focus here. The way that it's contoured and curved is just really, really good. Um, I love the way this swell comes back here with some curve to it because it really just locks my hand in whether I'm wearing gloves or barehanded it's just it's comfortable the wood is smooth without being like too smooth like I can still feel the grain of the wood which is good if this was like really like epoxied or oiled I might worry that it would be a little bit more slick but it's just a natural good feeling on it um, yeah this thing is just it's pleasant to use. <laughs> it's easy to wield, swing, whatever you want to say. And uh, I find it works really well. Also, for being a, a hatchet and not a full-blown axe, this thing is really good, I've found, at splitting wood. <laughs> when I've gotten at home, I typically just use like those wood bundles that you buy at the grocery store. And I try to get hard wood because it burns longer, and sometimes I cook on the coals. And um, I love... <sighs> I don't know, just the the ease with which I can split wood with this for those types of tasks. Uh, it's different if you're like out and you're processing an entire tree. Sure, then you probably want a bigger ax. But when you're buying already split wood that's in a bundle and you're just trying to split it down for like kindling and stuff, this is fantastic. And it's lightweight, it's compact. Like I said, I brought it to my brother-in-law's house. It's easy to just have in the trunk of my car. And then if I need it, if I'm processing wood for a fire pit somewhere else or um, the, the next time I go on a camping trip, absolutely, this will be in my pack or in my car. It's just like so conveniently sized and I don't know, I have a, a cold steel axe. It's like the, I think it's called the Trail Boss or something. I got it on Amazon for really pretty cheap, frankly, a lot cheaper than this. And uh, that thing's pretty good. And I, I've, uh, for the money I paid for it, especially, I've been very, very happy with it but this feels so much nicer and i think it's one of those things where like i don't know there's a lot of like gerber axes and camp tools and stuff that you can find at walmart or dick sporting goods or wherever right and they're like plasticky i don't know polypropylene or whatever handles or sometimes they're wood or you know like there's a lot of just like cheap hatchets out there and those tend to work okay right but I, I i do find this is the first like nice hatchet that i've ever personally owned and i think it's worth it um this isn't even as nice as you can go there's definitely way more expensive options out there but just the way that everything is finished and fit the way that it's taken abuse um the the stability of the head on the handle has been really really good i don't know i'm not an expert in this field i haven't uh, tested across a whole variety of hatchets, but I grew up using hatchets a fair bit and they were usually just pretty cheap ones, you know, and uh, I don't know, this feels different to me. I like it. So I don't know how much sense that's ultimately going to make, but I've enjoyed using this quite a bit and uh, this is, uh, I've scratched the itch for a hatchet, <laughs> at least for now. There, there's like... Uh, I don't see a need at all for getting another one. I may get a tomahawk soon. I still do want to get a fun tomahawk, but this is just like such a trustworthy tool. And each time that I've used it, I just find myself smiling a lot. Like I, I enjoy getting out in the woods with something like this 
and swinging it at stuff. It, it is a release. And uh, I think a lot of people probably feel that when they use a tool like this out in nature. It's just, it's a good time. So anyways, again, I'll link River's Edge Cutlery down below. Um, I think a lot of people assume that they just carry knives and stuff, but they not only have axes and hatchets and these, but they, uh, they've got like backpacks and fire starting materials and a lot of good stuff for people who are an outdoorsman or like me are kind of <laughs> outdoorsman. Um, I'm not a, a bushcrafter. I'm not super talented at creating shelters out of nothing and stuff. Although I'd like to start practicing that a little more. Um, I meant to do that for this video. I was going to go up to a spot where I could make that happen, but for the sake of time and my foot still not being a hundred percent, I'm not as deep in as I would need to go to get to the, the spot where I think that would make sense. That has the right types of trees and, uh, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, we're out here. We're having fun. <laughs> and, uh, this has been a good time. So River's Edge Cutlery will be linked down below. This is the Holtzbrook Tarnaby. Um, and yeah, I'll, if it's on their site still, if they have any available, I'll link to this directly as well. So you can check this one out. Although they've got a couple of options from Holtzbrook. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out with me, guys. We'll uh, see you on the next one.